we're back, folks. And we're going to get to the exact reason why everyone would play a Back to the Future game. Argue with a deranged octogenarian. Let's go and watch the fun. Let's see. I'm not a hooligan, ma'am. I'm a, a teenager. I wasn't born yesterday, young man. Clearly. Aren't you the miscreant who skateboards through the town square every morning between 8 and 8.30 in a decidedly unpunctual manner? I didn't uh, know that there was actual yeah. decorum when All it comes to skateboarding. All skateboarders are hooligans. It's a fact. Look it up. You don't have the internet, you crazy lady. Ugh. Oh yeah, I'll just go and look through the deranged ramblings inside your head. Yeah, that ought to be fun. State your business, child. You're making me miss Merv. Well, you dare to stop your thing. angry I'm crotchety sure overlord? Uh, Einstein here brought me, and... Well... Okay, you know what? Can you let me in? I've got something to show you. What is it? Let me see. As long as it's not the thing about the glue, I think I'll be fine. Is this shoe yours? Now, now, what would I want with a... Huh? <gasps> Stay there! I think we got our attention. Not sure that's a good thing or not. Uh, Paradox. Uh, what? I did not expect to wake up today and hold a shoe. We don't Sorry, take Einstein. kindly to wargs in my domain. Go back to the Shire. Oh god, I was just joking about this being a evil what? lair. Took you long enough. Mr. Um, McFly. To return the shoe, I mean. I lost it ages ago. You can put it down next to the other one. Much better. So neat and orderly. Nah, I suppose you'll be wanting some sort of reward now. No, just to get I, away from you, that'd be reward enough. Tea and candy. But uh. I'm sorry I called you a hooligan. I try not to jump to conclusions, but after all, nine out of ten people in this city are hooligans. It's a fact. Look it up. Again, with your non-existent internet. Uh, Have a seat, Sonny. Oh god, I'm gonna be stuck here forever. Uh hey, yep. you kids! Put out those cigarettes! For the love of all things sacred. Oh, and she has cap bowls, yeah, that oh boy. if I were you. Ms. Pretty Whiskers is very particular about who handles her food. Um, wait, what cat? The cat's invisible. What are these? My editorial trophies. Cat Lover's Quarterly? It's legitimate journalism. Well, it's a lot more legitimate than the National Enquirer. I'll give, it, I'll give you that much. <laughs> is that... Vice Principal Strickland? Oh, the Mother oh the dirt you got on him now. Little Gerald out of her clothes. Phrasing. Phrasing. Marshall Strickland. My grandfather, gunned down by Mad Dog Tannen over a hundred years ago. Oh, jeez. That's not how I remember it. Yeah, I remember. Uh, Fate and Flux. Jeez, they all look like they've got sticks up there. What's uh, that? Nothing. Th nothing. 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 Oh uh, boy. Einstein huh? brought me that shoe from the past, but when in the past? Just gotta figure out some way to get, uh, get crazy Dark Lord Edna talking. I can't leave now. Miss Strickland's my only hope of finding Doc. Hmm. Uh, Miss Strickland? You're doing behind that tree! You're at some yes. nurse sharing them pixie sticks! Alright, let's just go for the direct approach. Do you remember when you lost your shoe? Shoe? That shoe over there. Uh, 
Oh, that's you! Hi, huh. what a nosy Nelly! No one likes a busybody, you know. Pot but... meat kettle! Oh, fine, let me think about it. Uh... Yes, I, I remember. I, I lost it in a scuffle with a, a dog. What was it? Oh, yes. The day that speakeasy burned down. A speakeasy? In Hill Valley? Oh, you'd be surprised. Don't act so surprised, young man. Your generation doesn't hold a copyright on moral depravity, you know. Try 30 years. People Citizen will claim a copyright on, on anything. Hill Valley since the day it was founded. Yeah. Wow, a speakeasy. That must have been wild. Interesting. Is it true they used to drink gin out of slippers like my grandma said? Uh, Don't romanticize the past, young man. That sounds man. gross, honestly. Prohibition was a time when gangsters ruled the town while honest citizens quaked in their beds. Uh... Okay, by your definition, what is a normal law-abiding citizen then? Anyone that dared to go against the more uh, go against the curve? So where was it? That speakeasy that burnt down, I mean. That was ages ago. If you're looking for bootleg hooch. Uh no. no I I'm just curious, that's all. I'm a, a student of history. Student of history? My aunt Fanny! Yeah, your generation of hooligans and slackers could give two ripe figs about history. Mr. Again, Jordan, wait 30 no years later. Door. What? Huh? The what? speakeasy used to be hidden in plain sight down there in the town square. Right where that disgusting videotape Reynolds store squats today. So the video store building must have gone up after the speakeasy burned down. A little later than that, but... year, as I recall. Wait, what? Okay, uh, back then, you could barely even lug around video, uh, video reels without it possibly bursting into flames or destroying the negatives. And yeah, even in the 80s, the home video market was just still taking off. Oh, boy. What's with all these newspapers? This is my personal archive. I've got every issue of the Hill Valley Telegraph ever published. Get out. Every single issue? From 1871 to the present. If it happened in Hill Valley, you'll find it in my stacks. Hmm. Interesting. I guess somewhere in these stacks there must be an article about the speakeasy burning down. Naturally. I probably wrote it myself. I was quite a reporter back in the day. Any idea what date that article came out? Well, obviously the day after the speakeasy burned down. Yes, but when, crazy old lady? Doing some stargazing? Oh, I set my sights on lower things. Is that... <laughs> Tim Tanner! Get away from that hubcap before I call your father! Okay. Don't let me keep you from your business. You there! Don't even think about tossing that Kleenex on the ground! Yeah, she is just one of the worst sorts of people. Uh, Miss Strickland, about your tea. Uh, you forgot to turn on you! the. It's spelled with a U, you illiterate vandal! Forget it. You are not going to be getting through to her. Don't touch those! My newspapers are in pristine condition and meticulously organized. Not about to let some street punk get jam all over them. But that's not jam. You have no idea what I do at night. Ugh. It's worse than my dad in Milburn. And tomorrow is a lovely day. Ugh, dark place. Anyway. She keeps it hot in here. That's the kettle. I'll be right back with some tea. 
Okay, I won't, I won't. Hmm. Hey, uh, mind if I use your binoculars for a sec? Go ahead, dear. All right, let's see what we got here. Valley video and... 1932. February 9th? Thank you. Uh -huh. Built in February 1932. So the fire must have happened before then. But when? I need a date. Don't look at me. I'm far too old for you. Oh. Okay, there's cougars and then there's just. Ugh. Jeez, I'm crow. There's the whistle. Surely the water's boiling by now. Not the only thing that's boiling over, I can assure you, Edna. No, Let's see. Gone. Ground broken on sight of former speakeasy. Singer, Singer vanishes. vanishes. Hill Valley Expo delights crowd. Soup kitchen exposed. Here we go. Uh -huh. Speakeasy arsonist slain. Legal procedure gave way to old-fashioned vengeance last night when a mob descended on the Hill Valley Police Station. The suspect in the speakeasy arson case, a drifter known as Carl Sagan, was Carl pulled from Sagan. his... Carl Sagan? Oh, boy. It's Doc! Great oh, Scott! Mom. What's the date? June 14th, 1931. Jeez, I gotta rescue him. Oh, no. Marty, run. I know no. papers! Sorry, Miss Strickland. Uh, let no! me... No! You've gotten my history out of order! Oh, do you know how long it'll take to fix what you've done? Well, at least you got the afternoon busy. Get Later! Out, get out. For the last time, they're not hooligans, they're Jehovah's Witnesses! Yeah, at least Marty has some foresight to get some error appropriate clothing this time. Marty! Where you been, son? And what are you doing in that getup? Uh, let's... It's a work uniform. It's, uh, my uniform. Uh, didn't I tell you? I, uh, I got a job. At the Model T factory? Yeah. <laughs> uh, no, no. Never mind, you don't have to explain. I'm sure whatever it is you're up to, you know what you're doing, right? For well, the most part, so, yes. Hey, sometimes you gotta go out on a limb for the ones you love, right? Wish my dad had understood that. You won't stay away too long. You'll barely know I was gone. Oh, subtle foreshadowing there. You ready to go, Einstein? Okay, time, time circuit circuits. on. Ah, flux capacitor. Uh, fluxy. Fluxin' and Wuxin'. Okay, if Doc's gonna get killed on June 14th, 1931, I'll just show up the day before and get him out. I ain't with him time for doing, at least a week. Oh, boy. And we know the drill by now. Hill Valley, next part. All right. I remember the fire trail going a little bit faster. Oh, oh boy. Quantum Cruising! 